in today's video i'm going to show you how to fit 12 3.5 inch by 2 inch business cards on a sheet for printing in microsoft word hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel creating microsoft word tutorials only there's no excel no outlook just microsoft word and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how i used to lay out 12 business cards on a sheet in microsoft word back in the day all right so we have a new page here let me just close this out to show you what I did with the margins and so forth. So I'll save. I'll create a new page just to start over. Okay, so we have our page here. Now, the page as is, we could fit 10 business cards on a page. We don't want 10 business cards. We want 12. We want to maximize on our pages, right? All we have to do is change a few things right now the view of our page and if you look down in the right hand corner at the bottom of your microsoft word screen right now mine is at 110 the view size right and that's the size of the page but we want to see the entire page in view of our eyesight so we will click this minus button here until you know we have the entire page in view so right now it's at 60 percent the next thing we want to do is go up to our ribbon bar and then we go to our layout tab and in the layout tab we'll go to orientation we click that down arrow right now it's on portrait portrait is standing upright landscape it's lying on the side that's the page that is i'm talking about the page now the margins are very important right now if we look at our margin where the cursor is between the cursor and the le to the left of the margin it's just like a book leaf it's one inch in diameter for those who are not too sure about how margins work it's like when you print on the printer the printer is not going to go further out than that right so to change that we need to come up to our margins here. We are still in the layout tab on the ribbon. We come to our margins here, we click the down arrow and we click custom margins. Now right now, as I said, the top, the bottom, the left and the right margins of the blank page is one inch in diameter. We want to lessen that because we want as much print space as possible. I usually do 0.5. 0.5 is pushing it some printers cannot go beyond 0.5 if you have like uh what will you call it a industrial commercial high-tech laser printer you could definitely push the boundaries but if you have like a home the inkjet printer it is pushing the boundaries you could test it out and you could play around with it for the sake of this tutorial I will push the limits and I would go to 0.3. Now, disclaimer, if you go to 0.3 and you go through all the steps and when you print your business cards are being cut off, I would recommend that you come back right here and you go up to 0.5. 0.5 is always safe. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm pushing it to 0.3, right? So that's really close to the edge. So let's go 0 0.3 on every section. And we click OK. Now, if you notice, let me undo and redo that. So I'm going to undo, redo. Do you see the difference? The ruler at the top here changes everything changes so the spacing within the printable section of the page changes you have more print area and now your border or your margin is very thin or slim okay now let's work real magic we'll go to our ribbon which is this long thing here and we'll go to insert the insert tab and below the insert tab we have our pictures option with the down arrow we click that and we click from this device now locate your business card wherever it is this tutorial is not 
showing you how to create a business card in Microsoft Word. This is showing you how to get a JPEG image into Microsoft Word to lay out your business card, right? So now you go to, you select your card. Mine is in my download folder. I insert it. Now, right now, my card is hella big. And because of that, I am going to make it smaller. Now, the beauty about Microsoft Word is that it has rulers. So you have a ruler at the top here and you have a ruler at the side here. This is an inch ruler. If you cannot see your ruler or if your ruler is not visible like mine, you go to the ribbons bar at the top here and you click the view tab and you come down here where you will see ruler selected. If your ruler is not selected, you unselect it, right? And then you would see your ruler disappear. If you select it, you would see your ruler appear, right? So let's resize our business card if it comes as big as mine. We're resizing the four points, one point, two point, three point. If you're into math, this is called like the right angles or whatever. So we're not touching this, this or this or this, because if you do, your card will look funny. Let me show you. If you do it like this, it's going to look funny and it's going to be hard to get back the correct proportions. I do not recommend resizing it at that point. So let's undo, undo. We're using the bottom right hand corner. So we click, hold, and we drag. Now I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to show you our ruler shows us in inches. Now remember our business card is 3.5 inches in width. We can come down to the bottom here for the view, zoom, or the zoom into page, and we could zoom in to the page a bit more just to see what we're doing and we make our ruler larger. It doesn't matter how small or large our inches look, they will always be inches and always be accurate, right? So we click, hold, and we drag. So what we want is three. 0.5 inches so we have one inch two inches three inches and then we have a half just to ensure that we get one two three cards to fit in a line we just make it smaller just a little bit under 3.5 inches right now we have our frame if your business card is like mine white <laughs> Of course, you'll want to have guidelines to cut. Usually, I would come to picture format here. As long as it is selected, you'll see picture format. If you don't select it, picture format will disappear. So let's select it. We go to picture format or the picture format tab in our ribbons menu or bar. And then we come down here to picture border. Right now it says no outline. We could just choose something really subtle and light. You could choose something black. I'll just go with black. You can always cut the black lines off. We deselect that. See, this is actually a border that will print with our business card. Shows us how to cut when we print, right? So now we will select the frame again. We'll go to the home tab on our ribbon. We'll copy and we'll paste. That's all we have to do and we'll paste again and we'll paste again and we'll paste again and we'll paste again and we'll paste just paste until we get 12 cards now we can't see the entire page so let's come back down to our zoom bar and we're going to zoom out because we want to see the entire page i'm going to come back up to the home tab on our ribbons menu and we will on our ribbon and we will paste again paste again paste again look at that 12 beautiful business cards now remember what i said i pushed the border remember or the margin to 0 0.3 remember me doing that earlier coming to layout going to margins going to custom margins 
and changing these numbers here. Now, if you print in your printer that you have and anything is being cut off, you can always come back up here to margins, custom margins, and you could increase it to 5, 0.5%, which should not cut off. Now, when you increase it to 0.5%, these cards may not hold the way that they should. So in that case, let me just delete everything. Let me just undo all the cards that I've put. In that case, you zoom up. So you can see your ruler properly. You come back down to the bottom right hand corner of the frame. You click, you hold, you drag, and you bring it in. It's going to be a little smaller than 3.5. And let me just give you an example. Let me just say it's 4 inches now in diameter, right? So you click, you copy, you paste, you paste. It doesn't hold in the line, of course, because either the border will be too big or the image will be too big. So if you at all have any cluelessness about what just happened here today, I could do like a more in-depth tutorial for you. That's what the channel is here for, to help you use Microsoft Word. I'll see you in the next one. Please remember to click the notification bell beside the subscribe button. Of course, you'd have to subscribe to do that so that you can get more awesome videos on Microsoft Word tutorials only. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.